Hello everyone, welcome to Van Amsen Explain Podcast. Today we are diving into a fascinating topic, the zip, nerve, and innovative approach to neural radiance field training. So this technique was developed by a team of researchers uh, from Google. So let's get started. Uh, neural radiance field or nerves are a method for synthesizing novel views of complex 3D stance based on a, a sparse set of input images. So they have been a, a hot topic in the field of computer graphics and machine learning, but they come with their own set of challenges. So one of the main challenges with uh, nerves is the uh, computational cost. Training these models can be quite slow, uh, which is uh, where the grid-based representation come in. By using a grid-based representation in NERV, learned mapping from a spatial coordinates to colors and volumetric density, and we can significantly accelerate the training process. So, uh, but there is a catch. These grid-based approaches lack an explicit understanding of scale, which often introduce uh, aliasing. This aliasing usually manifests as jagging or missing stand content, which can uh, degrade the quality of the final rendered image. So previously attempt to address this issue, such a MIP NERF uh, 360 uh, reasoned about sub volume along a cone rather than a point along a ray. However, this approach isn't uh, naive compatible with current grid based technique. So uh, this is where deep nerve comes in and the researcher have developed a technique that combine the idea from the rendering and signal processing with the MIP NERV 360 and grid-based model like instant NGP. So what are the results? A method that yields error rate that are 877 lower than either pure techniques and that train 24 times faster than MIP NERV 360. So let's talk uh, about uh, multi-sampling in uh, this particular. So zip NERV use uh, multi-sampling to approximate the average NGP features over a, a canonical uh, frustrum. So this is done by uh, constructing a six sample pattern that exactly matches the uh, frustrum first and second moments. When training the pattern in a randomly rotating and flipping along the ray axis and when rendering. So each adjacent pattern is deterministically flipped and rotated by 30 uh, degree. So we can see, for example, how it look uh, in baseline model. And this one presented, you can see the significant uh, difference. And also we have a full paper uh, that talks about uh, this, this particular method and what approach was uh, used, uh, including all technical uh, details. So the zip nerve also addressed the issue of X, Y aliasing and Z aliasing, a naive baseline combining MIP NERV 360 and instant NGP result. Uh, in aliasing as the camera moves uh, laterally. However, zip nerf produce pre-filtered rendering that do not flicker or uh, shimmers. And Z aliasing is another challenge that zip nerf tackle uh, effectively. And uh, these uh, artifacts where uh, foreground uh, content alters uh, appears and uh, disappears as the camera moves towards or away from the stand content is significantly reduced by the uh, zip uh, nerve. So, uh, and that's uh, wrap up of zip uh, nerve. And uh, this technique is significant step forward uh, in the field of neural radiance field, uh, offering a more efficient and accurate method for uh, training these models. And uh, we hope you found this explanatory helpful and interesting. And as usual, stay tuned for more 
uh, exciting uh, content on Van Amsen Explain. And remember, this is a simplified explanation of a complex topic. And for more detailed uh, understanding, I recommend reading the full paper and visiting the uh, project uh, page. So I will uh, link uh, everything uh, in the description below. And as always, uh, make sure to uh, like it and subscribe for more uh, Van Amsen Explain. And see you next time.